lot. That was five months. Literally all of that happened within five months. Anyway, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. Welcome back to my channel. I am Anastasia. You can call me Anna for short. So the past few months have been wild. So many beautiful things have happened. So many major life changes have happened and we're also still going through a pandemic. And so I've just been a little bit all over the place, really overwhelmed. I needed to stop and really reflect and think about what setting myself up for success looked like. So I talked to my coach and it all pretty much boiled down to four different areas that were very unbalanced. And because of those unbalances, it was really hard for me to be creative and me to smile even. And so I had to fix those areas before I could come back. And I gotta tell you, I'm still overwhelmed, but I feel much better, much better. <laughs> All right, so let's talk about those four areas and I'm going to kind of give you a gist of like what those four areas are, what they mean, and then how I approach them. Now your approach may be different, but this is just giving you kind of an outlook or something to think about when uh, you might be in the situation of feeling overwhelmed and unproductive. Mad planes all of a sudden. The first area is your mental. Where are you mentally? For me, I am definitely that person that is usually super calm under stress, but during this time, my stress was boiling up inside of me. And that is because mentally, I was replaying things over and over and over again, whether they were conversations that I was having, conversations that I wasn't having. I would just replay it over and over again. Like, let's say I had two hours of time where I could film a video and I could clean the bathroom or something like that. And instead, I spent those two hours literally just staring at the wall because I was so overwhelmed and burnt out. I just like couldn't bring myself up to do anything. And so then later that night, I would sit down or I would lay down in bed and I would just replay those two hours in my mind, like all the things that I could have been doing. Instead, I was sitting here looking at the wall. And so mentally, I just was not being nice to myself. I was calling myself lazy, telling myself that I'm super unproductive, like just, just being rude, just being a mean girl to my own self. And like, that's not okay. So that was the first place that I had to fix. I realized that I wasn't meditating. I wasn't doing yoga. I wasn't doing anything to calm my mind. My love language is words of affirmation. Reassuring myself is what makes me feel good. And, you know, I can't always rely on my husband or rely on my friends or my mom to do that for me. I have to do it to myself or for myself. So, so reciting affirmations and, you know, meditating, calming my mind, quieting my mind, that is super important for me to, to be able to handle any kind of overwhelming or any kind of stress. The second area was definitely environment. My environment plays a big role on me and my mental space and how I feel every day. And moving into this apartment was a big one. I like completely switched up my environment. I moved from New York to New Jersey. I moved in with my partner. I, you know, I had to downsize. I definitely had to be a little bit more minimalistic. And um, while I wasn't opposed to it, it took a lot to get comfortable and 
you know, to be very honest, I'm still working through that. I'm still trying to make this home my home as well. I had to kind of make a corner for myself. As you can see, I made a corner for myself and I had to assure myself that over time, I will feel like this is ours. But that process of moving into someone else's space and making it our space is a long one. And we are still learning to live with each other, learning to bring our styles together. But that was something that was very unbalanced that I had to address before I could feel creative. A clean space means a clean mind. You know, if you take a look at someone's room or you take a look at someone's workspace, you can kind of get a gist about how their mind works. But overall, I like a place to feel super warm and cozy and lived in and um, moving, changing my whole environment. That was like a big shock to the system that I had to rethink what my environment would look like in order for me to feel creative and feel my best. And I had to address that before I could come back on here. So the third area is socially. This area was extremely hard for me. It was so unbalanced. And to be honest, I think a lot of it was on me. Um, when I say socially, I felt a lot of pressure to host a wedding that I thought was expect expected of me. I have a huge family. Like we got double digits happening in children of children. You understand? So <laughs> there's just my family's huge and I have a really big community. I have a lot of friends and I'm so thankful for everyone. I'm so appreciative of everyone. And I felt an overwhelming pressure to perform for everyone. And no one flat out told me that I had to create this big hoopla of a wedding but I for some reason felt like it was my duty and that really stressed me out and I was really trying to create something for other people rather than creating it for me and him when I started doing all of that I started having panic attacks and I really wasn't myself and that overwhelming feeling became something different um, more stress, more anxiety, more, it was just huge. And I was like, look, I, I, I can't. Like my mental and my health can't take that. So let me scale back and let me just do what I want to do. In the end, everyone was just so happy for me um, as they should be. <laughs> and it took me a while to get to that place, but once I did, the process started to become more fun and uh, more authentic and more genuine. Yeah, that was a big area that was super unbalanced and didn't allow me to work. It didn't allow me to fix up my space. It didn't allow me to do a lot of things because I was so hung up on trying to be something that I was not. Um, so socially, I had to take all of what society says that we need to have and I had to really focus on what I wanted and keep that as like my guiding light. And that leads me into the fourth area that was very unbalanced and it was spiritual. You know, through this time, I've had to make so much adult decisions, like so many adulting decisions back to back to back. And I stopped trusting myself. I just was unsure about a lot of things. And that's not like me. I am, I am a 34 years old. Like I have been doing this adulting thing for a long time. And for some reason, maybe because it was all back to back, the world was is a different place and you know 
there was just a lot of changes that was happening, but I really did not trust myself. And so I had to figure out how to come back to me. I had to ask myself, you know, how does this align with, you know, my spirit, my beliefs, what I feel is true to us. And I had to keep coming back to that over and over and over again. In the midst of all of this, I decided to just throw everything away and just focus on one thing at a time. So when it was wedding, I focused on the wedding and I literally just said, forget the rest of this stuff. I'm gonna just keep my focus here on the wedding. After the wedding, then it was like, all right, let me start trying to rebuild my routines. And so during this time now, it's been about, it's been a month since uh, the wedding. Oh shoot. Today's our anniversary. <laughs> our one month anniversary. Anyway. <laughs> I am now on day 19 of a yoga challenge and it has been like the best thing that I could possibly do. I've been meditating a lot and I really feel so focused. I have all these ideas on how to organize and kind of decorate my home and hopefully maybe I can show you a little bit of that in the days coming um, about how I kind of transform this place into our place and maybe we'll have a little bit of chat about moving in with a partner and all the feelings and things that that brings up. Socially, the wedding is done, thank God. <laughs> but I've also been giving myself affirmations daily. I am the main character and so what is it that I wanna do today? How is it that I want to feel today? Where, how do I wanna show up in the spaces that I am walking into today? Um, and so I've been creating some affirmations for that and will be sharing them on Instagram. So make sure you go follow me there. And then spiritually, I've really been running everything through my value system. Every decision that I make, I line it up with my values, see which ones that it falls under. There's been a lot of journaling that has been happening, a lot of coaching sessions that has been happening. Coach, if you're watching this, hey, thank you so much. We've gone through a lot during this time and I've really been taking care of, you know, reflecting and seeing how these situations uh, trigger me and then being able to address them in that way. And so I encourage you, if you are feeling overwhelmed or if you're even feeling just unproductive, you're feeling like, damn, I need like a little kick in the ass, just assess these different areas of your life that you're able to go at it with a clear head and as stress-free as possible. So set yourself up for success. Think about these different areas, how that might be affecting you how they might be helping you um, and then go on and prosper my friend go on and prosper i hope you were able to get something from this video today i know it was kind of long-winded but i hope it was clear let me know if you have any questions down in the comment section below make sure you give this video a like because that will tell the algorithm to share 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 thank you so much for joining me in my little corner of the internet it's been real and i will see y'all in a few days bye